Hello and welcome back to a new video. My channel is all about style and confidence for the 50 plus woman so if that's you stick around and if you haven't already I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. My videos are full of tips and information about how to dress in your 50s and beyond. So in today's video I wanted to take you inside my wardrobe and show you how I organise my wardrobe and how I go about creating new outfits because I know that a lot of us have pieces in our wardrobe that we've completely forgotten about. So in this video I'm going to show you how to organise your wardrobe so that you can see everything and also how you can then start creating outfits and how you can save those outfits for future use. So next time you need an outfit at the last minute, you've got something sitting waiting ready to wear. So let's get into the wardrobe and into the video. So welcome into my wardrobe. Now somebody did ask me how I organise my wardrobe and I used to organise it in pieces so tops, bottoms, jackets etc but um, probably over the last year or so I've actually been organising it in colours and um, it might look a little bit bitty but to me it makes a lot of sense so I start right over on the left hand side with um, light colours so the whites, creams, moving into neutrals, moving into oranges, into pinks and burgundies, greens, um, I've got a little bit of teal in there, blues, greys, browns and blacks so that's the basic order of it. And then if we look at a section individually, so let's have a look at this little orange section here. And the section starts with pieces that are hung on kind of a, a clip hanger like this. So it's skirts, it might be certain trousers, it might also be um, culottes or something like that. So um, I've got a printed skirt in there. I've got um, a pair of printed trousers, which you would have seen quite recently in a video. And um, then I've got plain trousers. Now the orange trousers that I've got on would be in this section as well. So I've got these bright orange trousers and then I've got these uh, more sort of burnt orange trousers. And then we move into tops. Now sometimes with a top like this one, it's got um, quite a few colours in it or like this blouse here. So what I do is I pick out a colour and I think about logically to me where it sits best. So with this one, it's got this kind of corally stripe in it. So I've put it here. And because it's got white in it, it's at the front of the section. So it's effectively the lightest piece in that section. Um, then I've got a very pale peach coloured top moving through into the sort of brighter oranges and then into that burnt orange again and um, another brighter orange and then a darker print that I've got in there and then from there we move into the red section. So that's basically how I organise the pieces in the wardrobe. Now um, I'm going to pop in a little separate video for you here which shows you how my um, shoes and bags are organised. So starting at the top in here I've got larger tote bags and then I've got um, everyday handbags, my shoes which start here and on the left hand side, um, right on the left I've got some trainers which I don't wear quite so often. Then I've got these baskets which I've got handbags in and um, they go from at the top, top kind of handbags that I use a lot or that are everyday handbags and then you'll see in the second basket down some of them are in dust bags and then as I go down there are evening bags as well. You'll see on the right hand side I've got um, some shelving for my shoes and Going down further, it goes from sort of flat shoes into heeled shoes and wedges. On the left hand side, there's a basket there that's got loafers in it. And then continuing on down, I've got um, flat shoes underneath the loafers and then some more sort of um, dressy shoes, I suppose. I've got um, gold and silver sandals there and some embroidered shoes that I don't wear quite so much. And then right down to the bottom, I've got some more heeled shoes 
on the left hand side I've got a drawer with some scarves and then over on the door here I've also got some hooks with some more scarves and these are the much lighter weight ones all the silk ones that I probably would wear during the summertime. And then back in this section just above here on the shelf I've got some knitwear because it's summer and it's actually a very warm day today um, my knits aren't getting used that much so they're up on the shelf here there aren't that many of them in the summertime but few cotton few linens so um, the knits are up there I have a few belts which are over on this wardrobe door and then on this side on this wardrobe door I've got just a few camisoles um, that I like to pop underneath things and a couple of little slips as well to go under dresses. So that's the basic organisation of the wardrobe. Now what I wanted to do was show you how I use that to create new outfits and I'm going to use this um, blouse that I've got on and I've also got the skirt with it. So these are new pieces in my wardrobe, very kindly gifted by Borkian, who I work with. Um, anything by Borkian that you happen to like, if you use my code SADDLER15 on their website, if it's full price, um, you will get 15% off of that item. So that's just one tip for you. And I will link these pieces in the description box because they are still available on their website. So... Um, these two pieces are new in my wardrobe, so the first thing that I want to do is think about how can I create outfits with these pieces. So I'll hang them onto this wardrobe door here, and then I'll start to think about what have I got in my wardrobe that might go with this. So um, because this is a print piece, I'll look at the colours within the print, and because I've got my wardrobe now organised in colours, it's very easy for me to start picking pieces out that would go with it. So you'll see that with the blouse that I've got on, um, I've got a little sort of neutral coloured camisole underneath here that I'm wearing. So obviously that goes with it. The two pieces go together, so I can wear them together, but I can split them up as well. And please, if you do have cords or suits in your wardrobe, split them up, wear them together and split them up because you'll get so much more wear out of them. And obviously cost per wear is so important now. We don't want to be wasting money. So I'm going to look at the colours that are within this print and um, we've got in here the neutral that I'm wearing, we've got a bit of orange or sort of a slightly burnt orange in there, we've got um, navy obviously and then we've also got it's almost a tealy blue in there so there's going to be quite a few things in my wardrobe that I can put with these. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pull out a couple of tops that are going to go with the skirt. So first of all, I've got a little pink cami that's going to go with the skirt. It's going to pick up on the pink that's in this print. I've got a white one. Obviously, I've got the neutral one that I've got on as well. Um, but obviously, I do have orange pieces in my wardrobe. So I could put this kind of softer peach with it as well. I think it would look really nice with this burnt orange top and then obviously I've got navy that will go with it and because I've got a few camisoles there you'll know that I don't like to wear a camisole on its own I like to wear it with something over the top as I am with this shirt treating it like a jacket so I want a few pieces that can go over the top of those camisoles as well so it might be like a nice long line cardigan like this linen one and maybe also the creamy coloured one. If I put that over the navy as a contrast, I think that would look really nice. Now I think I could also bring in this mustard colour because although it's not in the skirt, I think if I put the navy top and then the skirt with it, again I think that would look really good as well. So I've just popped the tops on that side, I've popped the jackets on this side and now really what I need to do is start playing. So it's a case of actually putting pieces on and seeing how they look. So I'm going to start with this um, burnt orange top here and you can see that I've put the two pieces together and then this is where I'll start accessorising to create that outfit. So perhaps putting a necklace with it. You can see that that necklace kind of really pulls the outfit together. And then I'll think about what shoes do I want to put with that. 
and at this point I'll move over into the other wardrobe and pull out a couple of pairs of shoes. So it might be that I bring in um, these navy wedges, if I'm going with the mustard jacket I might bring in those shoes and then if I'm using the orange I'll bring in the shoes that I'm wearing today which are these. Now as I start putting those outfits together I might get some new ideas so when I'm trying on this outfit um, if I'm thinking about perhaps I want to put a top over the top of it I then start to think well would this shirt work as a jacket over this top even though this has got long sleeves and this has got no sleeves so you can see I'll pop a video in here to show you that I have actually put those pieces together and it does actually work and then when I get to the point that I've got an outfit that works I'll move over to my mirror here and I'll take a selfie of it. Now once I've done that and I've created quite a few different outfits and this does take a little bit of time so set yourself some time aside to have a good old play in your wardrobe and try different things together because until you put them on you don't actually know how it works. And I'll give this outfit as an example. So this is okay but as soon as I put the necklace onto it it gets better and then actually as I've said before I wouldn't normally wear a belt because I don't have a waist but I will wear a belt underneath a jacket or a cardigan like this because it then does give the illusion of a waist and it also can be quite slim. So when I put this outfit together I did actually think it was improved by including a belt as well. So that is why you really do need to try things on and as you're trying on try different shoes, try different pieces of jewellery, mix up tops together as I do, you know use your shirts and, and um, blouses as jackets try them on with little camisoles and this is where you can start to think what's missing that would actually make this work. Now I went through this exercise um, about two weeks ago literally going through my whole wardrobe because I knew that there were pieces in there that had kind of been hidden away that I didn't wear very much. This skirt is a great example and I bought this a couple of years ago just before my birthday. I wore it out to dinner on my birthday. I've worn it a couple of times since but I haven't worn it anywhere near as many times as I could do because it's silk um, and I tend to sort of think of it as being dressed up but what actually happened when I got into my wardrobe and started to pull pieces out again you can see that top and necklace go with it and I could put these orange sandals on with it I could put a pair of tan sandals on with it and it immediately makes that outfit a little bit less dressy and of course I could put one of my good old waterfall cardigans over the top of it as well and um, I'll slot in some pictures here of outfits that I did create with this skirt when I was doing this. So it is a really good way to make sure that you do wear pieces more in your wardrobe. So it's all about experimenting and the test really is when you stand in front of the mirror and you look at an outfit, how do you feel in it? If you feel really good in it, then take a picture of it and you keep it as an outfit that's available for you to wear. So going through the whole wardrobe is quite a mammoth job, but I do recommend going through the whole wardrobe because you will discard pieces. I did discard quite a lot that I'm donating to charity because they're things that when I've put them on, they're okay, but they're not fabulous, you know? And, and we, the, the idea is that we really want to make sure that we get some great outfits that we really enjoy wearing. So once I've done that, what I will then do is I will upload the pictures into um, my wardrobe app. Now, for those of you who don't know about this app, it is part of my silver styling service and when you order it you do get the app and all of the setup and I create um, there's three sections to it there's your closet there's um, your lookbook and there are finds the closet part of it you can upload photos to so you can take photos of individual items upload those to the closet once you've got those items um, set up in your closet 
I can then go in there and create outfits for you with those items. So if you are struggling to put outfits together, you can get me to do the hard work for you. So I can pick out pieces from your wardrobe, pull them together and create an outfit for you. Now, when I'm doing that, it might be that I think, oh, you could really do with say a neutral um, top piece or cardigan to go with this and I'll go and look for pieces for you and I'll pop those into the finds section of your um, app and then I'll use pieces that are in the finds section, pieces that are in your closet and pull them together to create outfits for you in the lookbook. Now this doesn't mean that you can't create your own outfits in there because you can. I do put in there a section for you called My Outfit Photos and that's where when I take a selfie of myself I will upload those pictures to my outfit. Now for those of you who um, don't want to invest in my silver styling service and my app then there are other things that you can do. You can keep a little album on your phone, a separate photo album of all your selfies, so that you can always dip into there and see what outfits you've got. But if you want my help with creating outfits and my help with finding pieces for you, then I would highly recommend that you have a look at that silver wardrobe service. So lots of information there. I hope that you found that useful. Um, if you are interested in my wardrobe app and the silver service, I will link it in the description box. I will link this lovely cohort for you as well because it is still available and if you have any questions please do leave them down in the comments section or just get in touch with me if you would like my help in putting your wardrobe together and because everything I do is online I do work with clients all over the world as well so if you are in um, Europe, US, Canada, hello to the Canadian ladies, I didn't forget you last week but I wanted to say a special hello to you today. Um, wherever you are in the world then I can help you. Obviously you can use my app anywhere and I can find you pieces from um, your local stores as well. So that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed then please click on that subscribe button and the little bell so that you get notified when I release a new video. And I hope you're enjoying the shorts as well. Thank you for watching those and I will see you next week. Bye for now.